Hello, everybody. So, um, yeah, as Michel told you, it's my thesis, and um, it started with the idea of um, developing an alternative kind of browsing, browsing data in databases because there's lots of data, and especially in this project, it was uh, dealing with the, Flickr, uh, with the Flickr images. It's about 100 million images in Flickr, and um, originally, Photos used to be very tangible because you had to, to shoot on film rolls and then you got the images from the store again and you had them cluttered all, all over the floor and could share them, move them around and stuff like that. And we were thinking about um, how can you bring this tangibility partly back or even combine it with some of these um, digital uh, benefits we have today so that it's 100 million photos and also lots of uh, photos by other people. And um, with the... Yeah, especially on Flickr, I mean, you can see uh, photos that are, aren't only your photos, but um, um, photos from, from the whole world, basically. And the interesting thing about Flickr is that people um, add keywords to the images so that you actually can, can find the images by the content. Because normally the computers cannot, you cannot tell a computer and um, say to, to, to search an image for a flower or something because the computer cannot see the content of an image, it needs still humans to, to do this. And um, so this is my remote <laughs> uh, for my little presentation. Um, yeah, and the tangibility of this was to, to map it to, to a cube. As you can, well, to, to step back, the idea was to, to map the images um, on a cube so that you can, can browse the whole database um, like the, the, the images were on a cube and you can play with it like a small child would do and explore uh, with the same fascination a small child would do um, on the cube than um, with the whole database. So um, there were two prototypes. The first one was shown on, on this Yahoo Design Expo in 2007 already. And um, it was uh, because it was pretty li uh, little time back then, we, we built only a wooden cube as you can see here. And this one controlled um, a 3D simulation, but it, the, the images were already loaded from, from the database. And by turning the cube, you, um, you moved through the images and through the text as well. And this is also in the demonstration um, uh, later. And then the second prototype, we have both here, actually. Um, the first one and the second one, uh, it was pretty large effort to, to build it, but um, with the second one, the idea was also re to really have the screens and the photos in your hands. So when you turn it, you, don't, you do not have to look on, on a screen, but um, you look on, um, yeah, you can concentrate on it and you can also try it later on uh, in this uh, chair over there. You can um, test uh, the second one as well. So, okay, to give I don't want to go into detail because, okay, it was my thesis, so there's also a little bit theory behind it um, that I um, thought of and wrote about. Um, the idea is to create some kind of cognitive adapter between um, the embodied uh, cognitive system a human is, um, um, we are all, uh, by, by wandering around in the world and how we um, discover the world and all the... Yeah, all, all the fascination it is uh, to really have something in your hands, tangible, and not only controlling it with a mouse, <laughs> like I have to do right now. Um, so and on the other side, you have uh, this phenomena of socially distributed cognition, which means uh, Flickr, um, with all those images and thoughts of people coming together, because they all upload it to the same place and tag the same images, so it's, it's merging this kind of Wisdom of Crowds, so that's, that's um, a book by James Surowiecki about it and lots of other publications about this topic. And um, yeah, it was my idea to, to bring both together. And th this, is, um, yeah, this led to the cube rather than. Um, okay, I don't know. Perhaps um, one more theoretical thing, because people are asking what actually can you find with this, uh, can, you, can you bring a certain image? And as you will uh, see in, in a minute when I'm showing it, uh, it's, it's not good in precisely finding something. It's really for browsing, browsing in the sense of strolling along. It, it, it wanted to, I wanted to, to um, take this urban metaphor of um, strolling along in, in cities to, to the database so that you can discover a database strolling 
um, and, and wandering around with, with, with this device. So it's about browsing and not about seeking. Because when seeking, you're filtering away. You, you have a precise idea of a goal and you're looking for it and everything that is not similar to what you're looking for is, is pushed away, but you're also missing the chan chance for a surprise then. And so it's about browsing in this project. Okay, so to explain how it's working, I'm just running it, I think. Can you still hear me? You're just standing on the first line, that's easy. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's not perfectly set. <coughs> so as you can see, I'm controlling this uh, cube. This is the first prototype, as, as mentioned um, before. So I'm, I'm, I have this uh, cube in my hands, and um, each movement is directly translated to this 3D cube over there. Um, yeah, we did this, oh, I'm sorry. Sound was, was not running, so. Um, we did this prototype within, I think, four weeks or something like this to, in order to have it presentable. Uh, and so this is a, it's a very um, rough uh, prototype, quickly done, but it, uh, it was actually a pretty good uh, possibility to demonstrate the principle of, of the cube navigation because all the, the images are already um, loaded from, from the database. And so the navigation principle is you start with a tag, and in this case we have London. And all those images I'm seeing now, when I turn left or right on the cube, um, are loaded from Flickr and they have been tagged with London. So these are not chosen by me, but actually they are chosen by the program and the people who up, um, tag them with London. And since um, each image not only can be described by one tag, by, uh, but instead by several ones, um, you get, yeah, in this case, it's London, but it's also the London Eye this circle over there. And so um, on the above side, um, you get a proposal, namely London Eye as tag. So from, from, uh, from now on, I only get images for London Eye. I change the tag, so to speak. So I can also go back then. What I had here is an image for, of London and um, this dominant present uh, association of the London Eye. And uh, for example, this um, is taken in a museum and so I can get to museum and from there I could get go further to wide and as you can see it's it, the tag is shown first and then it's get, it gets loaded and cached again so yeah so there it is wide uh, I, yeah this is obvious uh, I don't know why this is wide perhaps because of the sky um, so you can always go back like that and um, since there's not even t uh, only two tags the one you, we have here museum and wide for, for that is, uh, is the proposal the, where you can go to. Uh, you can also give the cube a little, little push to, to change. In, in this case, yeah, we also have a woman there. People realized that and they tagged it. The, the machine itself wouldn't have realized it. So from here, from museum to woman, that's a large um, leap, I would say, but um, obviously, yeah, it makes sense. So more women and yeah. You can go pretty deep into this. Um, so on the left side, you have, you have the breadcrumb navigation then. Uh, London Museum Women, Lady Young. No? From London to Lady. Okay, and you can always go to the starting point or, um, yeah, that's a typical Flickr photo, let's say. Um, <laughs> and um, if you shake the cube heavily, like this, you start over with a random tag that is. Um, Cho chosen from the popular list. Uh, well, bad take. <laughs> Again, light. We had this already. So let's say Apple. So, okay, Apple can be, of course, the computer or the fruit. So, um, yeah, you. Good. You're happily invited to test this yourself afterwards. And um, uh, there's also the, the second prototype, which will be running at the end of the show. I cannot run them simultaneously. 
So, well, it's actually my little baby because it was extreme, an extreme effort to, to finish it. Um, well, this thing with the thesis and the diploma, you know, I had to do it. So, um, yeah, I, I hope it'll be running properly until the, the batteries are empty after 30 minutes. So Can you explain the difference? The, oh, if, of course, yeah. Um, the difference is um, it's not running right now, otherwise it would be obvious. Uh, this thing is not, that does not need the screen. It, uh, it, is, it has the screens inside itself. So that's the main difference, that why it is bigger and much more electronics. And it took me 10 times longer to build. <laughs> and um, yeah, any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Go for it. Take the mic, Paula. Uh, I might have not heard it, but how about other data, like information or music or whatever? Yeah, you, might, you mean browsing or, or, or more like synthesis? Perhaps you just keep it, yeah. Sorry. I, I mean, we're looking at photographs now. Yeah. Um, how about just browsing other, other, other sources yeah. of, uh, of information? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Everything that is taggable would more or less perfectly fit on the cube. I mean, audio is something it's not it's not two dimensional somehow so but you you could uh, this thing, this idea of left right is similarity and uh, vertical up down is um, association so to to change the quality a little bit and left right is similar would be apply applicable to to lots of content but okay, great, I, it's it's a very rough hacky prototype so it, it doesn't do anything else but flicker right now <laughs> i have a follow up question to that i mean what about i keep thinking of uh, you know those gaming dice you have with lots of faces. Right now it's fairly rectilinear, yeah. whereas you're actually browsing. So, you know, sticking too strictly with with you know narrowing down one search, you know, is maybe maybe there's also something to look for, like the the derive uh, of what, what the derive through the data, the the getting lost through the okay. data. Yeah. Maybe there's some diagonals that might be worth looking. For. Yeah. Um, so the yeah, situ the situationism of getting lost in the city was one of the inspiration for me. But uh, you, you spoke about dices that have um, other geometrical. I'm just thinking maybe maybe not just um, uh, eight sides, but maybe one of those dices that have twelve sides or even more. You know those? Yeah, yeah. Um, especially well. Okay, we. Uh, I thought about them and I, I tried little paper prototypes. Uh, the obvious thing is. Uh, these are the only cubes and dices that have uh, square sides. So you can always turn, you have always four possibilities to turn, and then you come to a square again. So with those, I don't, with those odd sized uh, dices, it changes all the time, which is, um, yeah, it, it, I mean, I, it, it could be interesting, but it's, it's also confusing because you, you, you change the situation, you're, you're, you're uh, it's 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 too flexible then it's, it's too volatile somehow okay thanks anybody other uh, else have questions yep maybe it's really stupid i'm no interaction designer or so but um why do you want to use uh, a cube to browse i just don't know why i would want it yeah okay so, so you so you are not on the bias list then okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just I'm just wondering because I, I don't really yeah, see why I would want to browse with a cube. Yeah. Why is it uh, better than you just browse in a window? I think. Yeah. Um, the one thing is actually um, there's no perfect prototype. So, um, but there's one thing that it actually gets another an additional quality that you have this uh, spatial the specialization of of, each of the of the photos. So. You can look around, have a, have a glimpse around the corner, and um, you know you have this direct feedback that you have actually really this this tactile control. It, it's 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 completely away from from w uh, windows or all the things that, that that are already in your in your mind when you think of sitting at a desktop, at a chair, yeah. at the typewriter, and and this this office style of working. So basically, the idea was uh, on the, the illustration I showed first sitting down somewhere and, and have the cube and just play around. So this, this very immersive um, connection to, to between you 
and, and the cube as an as, yeah. as adapter yeah. to, to the database. Okay. So it's, an, it's a it's cognitive like immersion with, with, I mean, while you're at the windows and all the operating system around, probably you'll get an email <laughs> while you're concentrating on yeah. something. I don't know, it's, it's, it, it's, it should move away from this. This was, was a test. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Michel, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm Thank you. here at the uh, next session. Thank you, Ludwig. So there will be...